Kara, do you have a, a tip or trick? In the nursing program, you have so many different books because they want you to have lots of resources. But in having all those books, I mean, you have like a med surge book, you have a Lewis book, you have a Potter and Perry, you have a Pearson, and then you get to the exam and they expect you to have read 500 pages of content. And that's impossible if you're, if you have to do it in two weeks, that's, I mean, it's really not possible. So the biggest tip that I have is don't be afraid to ask your professor, where are you pulling the questions from? Because that teaches you what book to, to focus more on. I mean, if the content is majority from Pearson, remember those lab values and those definitions. Don't focus on the lab values from Lewis because that might be used on exam eight. Just because they say there is content in there about the, the content that you're covering doesn't mean that they're actually utilizing it for that lesson. So always ask your professors before you start studying, hey, what should I focus on? Like, that is what helped me pull my grade from like a C to an A. Like that's a huge thing. I think it's scary to talk to professors though, mm -hmm. especially if you're new and you're not doing well. It definitely well. is. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. So what do you do? What do you say? How do you approach the professor? Relate to them like a real person. Tell them like, I mean, even if you are struggling, don't focus on that. Say, you know, my, my dream is to be a nurse. This is what I want to do. I don't want to fail. I want to be successful and I need your help. If you kind of put it like the ball in their court and let them know that you respect them as a professor and that you're not trying to, I mean, you're not trying to fail. It's not for your lack of effort. You do want to do this. The biggest thing is to take that initiative and then professors will respect you and, you know, reciprocate that level of communication.